I hope you enjoyed singing our first carol this morning. O come, O come, Emmanuel. The refrain or the chorus goes, rejoice, rejoice. Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. The words they're picking up on the words of the prophets who were foretelling the birth of the Christ child, that one day this Messiah, the promised one, would come into the world. Matthew's gospel begins with a declaration that he is here, that the wait is over. In chapter 1 verse 23 we read, the virgin will be with child and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. Matthew concludes his gospel with the words, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Christmas is a season that offers us a certain hope that we are not alone. Someone is here with us in the midst of a world that is increasingly characterised by broken relationships and isolation. There remains a God who is both sovereign and yet with us. God has come through Jesus and remains with us through the Holy Spirit. The most unimaginable plan possible has become a tangible reality and that's a great reason to celebrate. So this morning we welcome you to this week's online service from Burwell Baptist Church and for those of you who are unable to join us online but are listening on CD we welcome you too. If you're listening online and you've never been to the church and would like further details of activities or how, want to know how to contact us, the details will appear at the end of the service. Before we start our service, here's a further reminder of the details of the In Search of Christmas treasure hunt. Are you looking for a Christmas activity to entertain the kids? Do you know how many kings are in the village? Which house is the oldest? What Christmas is all about? We at Burwell Baptist Church have an exciting, interactive, and fun family Christmas trail to offer you, which will answer all of these questions and more. Called In Search of Christmas, our entertaining trail includes questions about places in Burwell, as well as finding and scanning QR codes to discover the reason for the season. The trail will be available from 12 December to 27th December. All details of how to access the trail can be found on our website, burwellbaptistchurch.org.uk backslash christmas-treasure-hunt and on our Facebook page in search of Christmas. Like and follow our page at Burwell BC Trail to keep up to date with details of the event and to let us know when you find the treasure. We would love to hear from you. Please ensure that you and your family obey the government guidelines for social distancing at all times. We thank the team of people who have put the Christmas trail together. In a church meeting several years ago, we believe God was calling us to go out into the village and tell others, to try different things, new ways of reaching out to the community. And this is certainly a different way that we've never tried before. I haven't had the chance to go on the trail just yet, but I hope to over the next few days. If you haven't been on the trail, you still have time as it's available until the 27th of December. So why not invite your friends and neighbours to try it as well? Later on, Chris will be continuing the Advent series of looking at Christmas through the words of the prophets, looking at the problems facing the original readers, the similarities to our own situation, the good news the prophet brought to the people of his day, and how that can still be relevant to us today. It seems so strange not being able to celebrate Christmas in the church building, being able to meet together and sing carols together. But for those watching, in a moment you'll be able to see as we light the Advent candle again this week. Each week during Advent we've been lighting a candle on the Advent wreath. The first week of Advent we thought about the candle of hope, the second, the candle of peace, the third week, candle of love, and this week we shall be thinking about the candle of joy. Christmas is a busy time for most of us. This year, especially, it has its challenges with the impact of COVID, social distancing, lockdown, etc., etc. But amongst all this, the message of Christmas is still the same, the joy of commemorating the birth of Jesus. Finding the real joy of Christmas comes not in the hurrying and the scurrying to get more done. We find the real joy of Christmas when we make Jesus the focus of the season. 
Imagine Mary's fear when the angel Gabriel appeared to her while giving birth to the Son of God was surely an intimidating prospect. Scripture tells us that there was something bigger than Mary's fear, her desire to carry out the will of God. Here I am, the servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And that's verses uh, Luke 1 verse 38. After receiving the angel's news, her prayer wasn't that God would spare her from shame or pain or even give her peace. Peace came when she said yes to God's will. And more than peace, it says she was filled with joy. Today, so much of our joy in this season is dependent on the traditions we associate with it. We say Christmas is about the family or giving gifts. Christmas may include these things, but the true joy of Christmas comes from celebrating the fact that 2000 years ago, a girl said yes to bringing our saviour into the world. So as we light this candle, we light this candle and remember how once in the midst of the ordinary, a messenger of light declared that God's salvation was dawning. Still stunned by the faithful example of one young woman's let it be to me, we offer ourselves in awestruck anticipation of what our living sacrifice yet may become. Let these simple flames of light each be our reminder of the profound potential of ordinary lives. Offered in service to the Most High, God's purpose accomplished in the midst of human frailty. Not because we suppose that this world's salvation can be brought through our endeavour alone, but as those who have seen God's miracle of grace. We believe that in these broken vessels, God's rich treasure can reside. Ours is the joy of knowing that even in the midst of human struggle, your kingdom still comes and salvation still dawns. And though the road may at times be hard and demanding to travel, its purpose and destination are always secure. Shall we continue our service as we sing the next carol, Joy to the World?